Hey Arduino lovers, how are you? You might have used Arduino before in your projects. And you might also know the main chip of the Arduino is the Atmega 328P. This IC came in two packages, one is THT and the other one is SMD. The THT stands for through hole technology in which we put the pins inside the holes and solder them using soldering iron. But what about SMD? In the SMD, there were no holes provided. The SMD stands for surface mount devices. They have to be sticked on the soldering pads which are provided for them. And you might also have seen the distance between the two consecutive pins is quite low as well as they are hard to solder using any soldering iron. So how to solder them? In this video, I will show you how to solder the SMD IC. So if you haven't subscribed this channel, Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon. So there are two simple methods for soldering a SMD. Let's talk about the first method. The first method uses a soldering iron and a soldering wick. First of all, place the IC on the pads firmly. Make sure all the legs are on its pads. Then apply a bit solder to any one of its leg and then to the opposite leg. Now stick tons of solder to all the pins and use the soldering wick to stick off the excess solder. This was easy, right? But sometimes the result of this process is not that good. Now the second method and the most reliable method, stencils. Did you heard of this? So first of all, let's order it. Just go to glcpcb.com and then go to Kyotao. Now do the same as we order a PCB. First of all, upload your Gerbil files. Now scroll down and click this box to order the stencils along with the PCB. Now just do the same process, click add to cart. Now go to cart and then click check out securely. Then fill your address and your shipping method and then pay using PayPal or credit card. Now you will get your boxes like this. Now you will get two boxes like this. The smaller box as usual will contain the PCBs and the bigger box will contain the stencils. was good. Now place the PCB firmly on a board and secure it with tape. Or you can use other PCBs to secure the PCB in the place like I did. Then place the stencils on it firmly and make sure all the holes are exactly upon their native pads. Then secure the stencils with the tape. Now take some soldering paste and use a credit card or a piece of PCB to fill the holes with the soldering paste. Now lift the stencils firmly and solder placing is done. Now place the IC on it and use a heat gun to heat the solder paste. And yes, 
it's done quite easy yes now you can see the results satisfied or not frankly saying i am really satisfied with the results so this was the method to solder a smd ic using stencils these stencils can be used thousands of time so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys and i will come with another video for you so thank you guys and have a nice day see you in the next video